Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 23rd episode of Darlin' in the Franks. And in the last episode, our characters are now trying their best to live without the help and support of Papa and all that. And having not the greatest of time with that, they can run into various problems, but trying to get through them as best they can. Meanwhile, you have Haru, Haru Hero, Hero, that's his name, Hero pretty much trying to take care of uh, Zero Two, his waifu, and that's kind of like the only thing that matters to him. And he eventually figures out what's up with her, that she's physically there, but mentally up in the sky, and now he's going to go up into the sky to save her, bring some other people, and they're all going to go on a sky space adventure together. That's kind of what this episode should be, so let's watch it and see how that goes. Three, two, one, play. Clouds, okay. Well, yeah, the series is coming to a close. Well, you still have that baby problem. <laughs> Is Kokoro gonna stay behind? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think they are implying Kokoro staying behind. <laughs> Well, no, but I'm sure at least one part of him remembers. Of course, referring to his heart. You know, what were you thinking? Zero Two, you really don't look very good. Like, at all. Someone throw a rock at it. You know... The new anime season's coming up soon, like, tomorrow-ish. And most anime, you know, from this season have finished up. But, you know, not Saturday. Saturday still has, like, 10,000 anime that's still there for some reason. Mothership. <laughs> okay. I don't think he is. Yeah, don't be a wuss, Mr. Zora man. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> We're a real team, guys. There you are, we've come this far. Considering the birdcage you guys were in before, that's quite a jump. I should hope Manny would be allowed to join that. <laughs> and we all share the Earth after all, so... <laughs> yeah, I know, you, you can both catch in bad, I know you guys. 
Uh, if I was here, I would not be okay with this. I mean, I guess it's better than switching positions, but still. That's a big step down from zero to... As your... Pistol. Uh, yes, considering, you know... Now, the Earth really doesn't look that gray from the sky. Like, more red than blue. And meanwhile, we're just kind of chilling down here. No, but you have one inside of you. I'm sure they weren't. So it should be easy then. That's a good thing. Water. More aliens, I don't know. Well, Zero Two is going to get hurt no matter what she does, because uh, of her circumstances. Yeah, to fight until they die and then get replaced. Someone like a mother figure? Yo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Desi? What's up, Gora? Oh, okay. I mean, he had it coming, so... You were tiny, Ichigo. And still, buddy, get a nap or something. Or some, at least some makeup. Yeah, it's a Vern fleet, alright. You talk about the color. Well, whatever works, I guess. But we have shields, luckily. Well, stop it. <laughs> That's a lot to fight. There she is. <laughs> Sounds good. Maybe she's out of energy. In other words, we need a hero to get in there. Such a colorful intergalactic war. <laughs> That's easier said than done. That's a lot, though. That is a lot of enemies. Huh. 
<laughs> How could I? Hospital runaways. Uh, that's that's a good line. Probably. Yeah, you don't want to get parasite blocked. Yeah, I, I knew they weren't going to listen to that. <laughs> These are on the same page. <laughs> we made an opening for you to penetrate. Go. Good job. Yes. You just keep finding entrances. To go into... Uh... That, that didn't do much. Uh. Uh, I didn't think that would help either. It isn't. Do you have any more friends to help? Are you going to inject them out and... Uh. <sighs> I'm not never liked him, so I don't I don't feel too bad about him dying, but it's you know, that's best way things could have ended for him, I would say. I'm trying to think of a better way to phrase that, but... I'm sure you get what I mean. Meanwhile, back at Earth, which is much more peaceful. What's the matter? I say a lot's a matter. <laughs> you know, oh, God. Do we have more band aids? Yeah, you, you're getting her enough as it is. Stay down here. Well. Well, if it is 02 and she now has tentacles, I can imagine where this is going. <laughs> uh. And Sam's surprised that he said that. He doesn't do that. He went to friggin' space to get to you. So, you know. I think we've- I think that ship's already sailed. Oh. <gasps> Are you- are you comfy there, hero? This is what you came for. It's what you asked for. Okay, yeah, now it's got the stamen, so... Should be able to do more. Please do. Just don't die. Just, just keep shooting them. I'm sure eventually their billions will narrow down. Windows are what I meant to use there. Uh, 
Ah, uh, inside explosion's not good. Don't, don't you dare hurt her. We just got her back. That doesn't mean it's okay to kill him. <laughs> Seriously, man, just walk it off. It's a flesh wound. You didn't need that eye anyway. Get a cool eye patch. You can go all chew and it'll be great. I was kind of hoping you would princess carry him, but I guess it's a bit much. Uh, is this God? Oh no, it's just him. You know you started this conflict, right? <laughs> uh, no. I need an adult. Uh, forced equality is no equality at all. You know, part of being human is being able to make your own decisions, regardless of how foolish they are. Not that you would understand, because you're not human. Nice way to put it. That's a, it's a cute little ship. Yes. Because that's what it means to be human, to choose your own path. And you kind of lose that if you just get absorbed into the Borg or whatever. And now it's raining. Didn't you, like, get inside? Yeah, what he said. Then carry her inside. And both of you carry her inside. You have a baby with something. At least I think she loves a baby. <laughs> and she does sell the baby, okay. Don't worry, no one does. Oh, so yeah, he still has the ring. <laughs> Our battle is to call your each other's names, okay. A little bit smaller scale than what's going on over there, but... You get a room, you two. There's nothing wrong with an inner species relationship. <laughs> because she wants you to fill her page with ink. Possibly with wide out. Well, the sky sure calmed down. Oh, what? Becoming a statue? 
Because that's not an improvement. I, that, however, kind of is. I, I would say the same thing in that situation. And so is the, is the last page filled now. I think we may, may be having our ultimate transformation here. Uh, the best mech right here. That's the true Apis, all right. Now, uh, now that's now that's a Franks I wouldn't mind being the statement of. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll. Uh, all shackles are off now. We're going full battleship. <laughs> uh, what now? It is always something. Are they making a new galaxy? Oh, okay. I guess that makes more sense. <laughs> like, it's a giant zero two face. Like, if I was one of them, I'd try to fly into our mouth. I don't know why, I just want to try that. Well, good riddance. He's got his blue horns. Really pretty warp gate, so I'd go through it. Yeah, exactly. Is that not obvious? Uh, that, that new Frank's neck thing is amazing. I'm not sure I'd call it a Frank's anymore, but... Uh. Yeah, no filthy casuals allowed. Uh, I can imagine what they would do by themselves. All night long. All day long. Probably not. But there is still one episode left, isn't there? Because it feels like a final episode. But I'm sure there's one episode left. Well, sure is a strong word. <laughs> uh, well, that's definitely true. <laughs> yeah, she'll come back with her own baby. <laughs> Indeed. I would you love that warp gate? So, can't hold in. So when they go back, they're gonna have to tell those two that Hero and Zero Two aren't coming back. I definitely agree with that. Yeah, you weren't there. And then the crying begins. At least they have that picture to remember them by. <laughs> so that was the 23rd episode of Darling and the Franks. And this episode, obviously picking up where we left off, everyone headed off into space to help Hero get to his waifu, the Apis and all that, whatever they called it. And there was a huge intergalactic armada pretty much kind of in the way. So they pretty much had to help fight that off, you know, fight it off, just make an opening for them to get there pretty much. 
And that's what they did. He was basically piloting with the help of a certain blonde nine asshole. And, which, that's a pretty apt description for him, considering he very much was the pistol in that, uh, in that Frank's arrangement, so that's, that really sucks for Hero, but yeah, gotta do what you gotta do, I guess, to get to the woman you love. Yeah, no one other people calls it into your anime. Anyway, yeah, basically he helped him get there, he even sacrificed himself in the end, which is the, obviously the best thing he did in the entire series. And Hero got it, he was able to meet up with, with, uh, Zero Two, and she was in a bit of a new form, her, like, tentacles, her mechanical tentacles was, like, the new Zero Two, I guess, and just, he wanted her to wrap him up in those tentacles and to eat him, pretty much, so she was more than happy to oblige. Meanwhile, back on Earth, you have Kokoro and Mitsuru, who decide to stay behind, Kokoro taking good care of Zero Two's body, not that she can really do much, she's still gonna get injuries all over the place, it's still really bad. I don't think I ever saw her even, like, bandage it up at all, just, I guess she's just kind of there for moral support more than anything. I do want to point out real quick that, uh, surrender yourself to the gentle, perpetual pleasure we offer is a terrible pickup line and nobody should use it. Back on Earth, we had Koku and Mitsuru together, just, they're, they're all them out in the rain, which is not a good idea, I, just like Mitsuru, I was kind of suggesting we take this inside, where it's, you know, less rainy and lightning-y and dangerous-y. But, you know, I, I guess we, we weren't going to do that. Instead, we pretty much had a moment between Kokoro and Mitsuru. Pretty much saying, I love you, I'll love you forever, I don't care if screaming your name causes pain or whatever. I love you, see, I even kept the ring. See, can't you see how much I love you? And then, yeah, many tears were had. And, yeah, pretty much, I guess they, they, they fixed things there. They, they rekindled their love, I, I guess. And anyway, he's going to take care of her and the baby is what I'm getting at here. You also had Zero Two and Hero up in the sky, obviously, you know, uh, I don't want to say fixing, really, but pretty much uh, coming to the ultimate form of their relationship, which ended up being Zero Two, like, fully embodying the, the Apis mech Franks thing that they were inside of. And I do quite love its new form. It's very much, uh, I think it's the number one Franks in the show now. I, if it can still be called a Franks, because it's just, it's the best, really. I mean, it could go through the warp gate, nobody else could. So, yeah, basically only only Zero Two Apis Ultimate Form thing can actually penetrate the warp gate where nothing else could. And that's why she went alone with Hero on their own eloping honeymoon thing, uh, intergalactic war, whatever you want to call it, really. So, yeah, that's basically how the episode ended. They both went their separate ways. And, of course, Zero Two... Kokoro and Mitsuru were gonna have to be told, hey, yeah, so Zero Two and Hero, they're not they're not coming back, so that sucks. But hey, they totally promised they would come back at some point, so let's let's hope for that. And I do think there is at least one more episode left of this series, so there is it is a possibility. I'm not gonna say they won't come back, I'm just saying, you know, how much reason do they really have to come back? I mean, the this the world's not very great. I mean we're hoping they can kind of fix it, really, but it, truly fixing the problems Earth and has at this point is going to take more than, like, one generation, so, you know, it's, uh, it's going to be a work in progress for a while. Trying to just get, be able to have sustainable food sources and all that stuff you kind of need to survive. This really did feel like a final episode for the most part, to the point where I was second-guessing myself whether or not this was the final episode or not. But I'm pretty sure it's not. I do think we have at least one episode left. I'm not sure exactly what that will cover. Whether or not Zero Two and Hero will come back. Whether... Kokoro will have her baby before the series is over, because I think that would be cool. Maybe we could get a beer, time skip, or whatever, and the baby's uh, around, and he's crying, and he's being all babyish, you know, the, the things that babies do. I'm personally not all that well acquainted with the behaviors of babies, aside from the crying, of course. Uh, and the pooping, I guess. I know babies do that a lot, like 90% of what they do. But yeah, I think that would be cool if we got some kind of time skip in the last episode, and I feel, a de I feel like there's a decent chance that we will. Uh, in any case, yeah, that, that was the episode. Thank you for watching, and thank you Snoki, the Dragon of Oshu, as well as everyone else, for doing what you can to support the channel. It means a lot to me, and I hope we can continue to grow the channel together. If you want to do more to support the channel, then you can become a patron on my Patreon, and get cool rewards like early access to certain videos. Have a good one.